Hello YouTube, so we are just coming to the end of week 17 of our townhouse renovation and first of all, we never thought we would be in week 17. Um, both our contractor and um, my husband and I thought we were going to be done with this project like within 12 to 14 weeks, but that has not been the case. Um, I'm sure you've been reading about the global supply chain crisis. Well, that has definitely thrown a wrench into our whole project and everything has taken longer than we expected, um, primarily because we just can't get materials. It's taking a lot longer to get materials than we, than we thought. We waited weeks for hardwood floors. We waited months for bedroom doors, for a washer dryer. We're still waiting on our kitchen cabinets. We've been waiting 13 weeks on our kitchen cabinets. So it's, it's, it's been interesting, but we are at the end of week 17 and we still have you know, at least a few more weeks to go before we're done. Um, if you haven't been following my channel, we uh, we bought this townhouse in Brooklyn in April and um, it was uh, two, a two family townhouse. So each floor was its own apartment. So there were two kitchens and two of everything. And we are doing a two family to one family conversion. So we are making this into a single family home. Um, so new bathrooms, new, you know, new kitchen, uh, sort of some doors and walls being reconfigured, just a lot going on. Um, and if you're interested, there's, you know, there's a whole playlist of the renovation that you can follow along. But for today, I just wanted to do just a little update of the, of the second floor. Um, so we, during the initial couple of months of the renovation, we actually lived elsewhere, but since, uh, end of, uh, or like after Labor Day, early September, we've been actually living in the house. So we're like living in our renovation and we've been um, pretty much just on the second floor because the first floor just isn't really usable at all yet. So um, we're almost done with the second floor and I just wanted to show you, that's my son, I wanted to show you the doors and um, some of the uh, moldings and things and the um, washer dryer that we just got. So take a look. So the biggest update is that we now have a washer dryer upstairs and we are thrilled about this because I had been dragging our laundry um, down two flights of stairs to the cellar to do it before in a very old machine. So this is our brand new washer dryer. It's up here on the second floor, which is where our bedrooms are. So I don't have to drag the laundry anywhere. It's amazing and it's very quiet. As you can see, I'm running it right now. It's, it's really quiet. Um, the only issue we're having is this is supposed to be a closet with a door. Um, and the door that we had didn't really work because it, it's like a, it's like a folding door and you, it folds out that way, but we weren't able to actually like open the machines all the way oh, no. oh, with the, that? uh, with the door there. So the contractor is trying to figure out if there's a way to widen this opening a little bit. Um, I don't know. There's not a lot of extra space to work with here, as you can see, but we're trying to figure out if there's still a way to make that door work. Um, so, and then, you know, put some molding around it and kind of finish this area, um, have it look a little nicer, but for now, at least we have the washer dryer and we're really thrilled about that. The other big update is that we have bedroom doors. Okay. So here is the door to the master bedroom and I'm sorry, I can't, I can't really stand any further back than this, um, to give you a better view, but, um, we waited two months for these doors to come in. They were like stuck on a container on a ship that was stuck in a port. I mean the whole deal. So all these things you've been reading about, you know, global supply chain problems. I mean, that is very real and we are experiencing that. So we waited two months for these two bedroom doors and a closet door. And they finally arrived uh, last week and they were installed. And then the contractor has been um, putting our, our old molding back up on the walls. And then they're gonna sort of paint and try to finish the old molding so that it looks new again. And I'll show you the other door, which is um, to the upstairs parlor here. It's all a mess here, but excuse our mess, but this is the other door, which is the uh, upstairs parlor. So um, very happy to have those doors and really happy about reusing some of this um, 
existing molding. We have like, I don't know, at this point, about 25 different types of molding in this house because it's really hard to find molding that perfectly matches the original molding in the house. So I'll show you, for example, like this bathroom, the, out, the exterior is the original molding and then the interior is actually new molding, right? So this is like a replica molding that kind of looks like the existing molding. Um, and then we have for the baseboards, the same issue, right? So this is the, um, the original baseboard, okay? And then um, like down here, we have the uh, sort of new baseboard that our contractor put in, which really doesn't look the same at all. But you know, it's, it's, it's the best we could find, at least it's the same height. And you know, if you paint it the same color, it won't look too bad. And then we're having the same issue with the picture frame molding. So um, when they put this door in, they had to cut, you know, like open up this wall. And so some of the original uh, picture frame molding here had to be taken off. And now that they're trying to um, replace it, they cannot for the life of them. Um, our contractor just cannot find molding that looks exactly like this, unless we had it like custom made, which would be really kind of outside of our budget. So um, we're just gonna, you know, do something else. Um, we may have to just rip out all of the picture frame molding on this side of the hallway and replace it with something else. Um, so at least it'll match on this side of the wall, but it won't be the same as what we have on this side of the wall, which is the original. So, um, but honestly, we can, we can live with stuff like that. And I'm noticing even before we moved into this house that there are different types of molding in the house. So for example, in this room here, like this picture frame molding is different. Um, if you go into the kids room and again, Excuse all of our all of our mess here, but like this molding is different still. So it's you know it's all different, and it's the same with the moldings around the door. So we're we're fine with it. You know, I guess it just adds to the quirkiness of the house. But um, so that's kind of the next step is to finish up uh, with baseboards and and um, moldings, and then we're basically done on the uh, on the second floor. I just wanted to show you real quick these um, built-in bookshelves that my husband put in um, earlier today. It's just a little weekend DIY project. I thought these were just really terrific. He made these from scratch. He went and bought, um, I think it was oak, uh, oak wood planks from um, Lowe's and he stained them and he cut them down to size um, and he just put them in this little niche that we have in our master um, bedroom. So, um, so happy about that. Can't wait to have all of my books here. We, I have so many books that um, you can really never have enough bookcases in this house. There's, there's a whole room devoted to books downstairs, but I still have bedroom books. So just wanted to show you that. And then here, we're still waiting for the contractor to put in um, baseboard here. So this is not quite finished, but really excited to have a bookcase in the bedroom. So thanks for watching. Uh, I'm really, really hoping that our kitchen cabinets will be installed next week. We were kind of, we were kind of hoping to have them this week, but that hasn't been the case. But now we're keeping our fingers crossed that we'll get them next week so that I can actually show you that. And I'm definitely going to show you um, our bathrooms, which are very near completion. We're just waiting on some wallpapers. So please subscribe uh, for future updates and I hope to see you next time.